Hello everyone, and welcome to my personal, most anticipated series, the Azure Striker Gun Vault. A side... Uh, a 2D side-scrolling platformer, basically. It's a, it's a lot like Mega Man in some ways, except it has a lot more cool abilities and such. Now, first of all, I want to say that the game balance for me is a little more towards the player up until right at the end, where things become Nightmare Central. I mean it. And I will show you, I have played this game through twice now. Gotten both the good and bad end, bad and then good endings. And I still die. Um, it, it's a little crazy. I can tell you, and it, that's my old file, please no, pay no attention to that. I just, I had to play it again. I had to. Um... You can read these if you want, it's basically just a little bit of a narration. If you want, I can do it in a deep voice. His mission, silence the muse and free the world from its trance. But the clear-cut lines around him have already started to blur. Tell me if you want me to do that, I don't know, I'm just sort of winging it. But anyway, I am not going to read cutscenes, I'm sort of going to go quiet. Y'all can read those if you want, I will make sure that there is enough time. So if I go quiet, then there is a cutscene coming up. So, pardon me while I just go through the creepy Electro Whip guy sequence, because that's literally what it's called. There's an achievement for watching this pro. <laughs> I mean, seriously, it popped up the first time I did this. I was just like, wait, what? I mean, my eyes were sort of just glued to the bottom of my screen. It was, it was sort of disgusting. Oh, hi. Hi, Lumen. Yep. Uh, sorry, I probably should have uh, called spoiler on that one. Now, it may take a while for me to actually get some of the items I need for the good ending, because there's one specific item in every stage that you need to get. They're in these weird places. I mean, it, 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 they're just hiding them. I had to look it up for three of them. Oh, four, excuse me. Yep. Um, so let's be, ex please excuse my mouse, there are clickable screens in this, and that reminds me, when we get to one, I will go through the different variations they have for the clickable screens, because they have one over each other, next to each other, the diagonal, they have all sorts of different organizational schemes for the clickable screen while it's there, because you can use that to activate your special abilities instead of using the F1 through F4 keys. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no! It's impossible! Yes. Do you know who he is? He is electricity! I'm gonna make a little bit of fun of this game. It's really awesome in my opinion. He's such a badass, too. And if anybody wants to know, in case they don't get it while we're going through in depth, it's basically someone with psychic powers over certain elements or different things they can control, basically. It's it's basically just a human hopped up on psionic waves, essentially. The Azure Striker. Yeah, I mean that that's obviously a reference to Mega Man because he's the blue bomber. I mean this is this is, in my opinion, a homage to Oh crud, what did I set the controls to? Okay, okay. <laughs> It's been a while. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Cat bone control. I set them up myself and then Derp! What were they? Nope, he ain't dead yet. Yep, on a train. <laughs> I love the music for this game, too. And then there's, um... <coughs> Asimov. Him. Yeah, you, you, we'll learn a little more about him later if you get my, um, trick. Excuse me, mouse. <laughs> yeah, I know, some of the dialogue can get a little long. Sorry. But anyway, 
First of all, you've got your standard bolt. I'm not bothering with time. You got your your dash, your flash field, which can when you tag enemies with the bolt, it can send lightning bolts toward them. You got your standard jump. You can eventually get double unlimited jumps, but they use the energy bar at the bottom for your flash field. Um, other abilities also have slots down in the bottom left corner. You have your skill points. There are three of them, and each ability uses a certain amount. Like I'll show you Astro Astro Sphere later. If I can... Hello! See, that's that's what the flash field does. You can have up to three tags on any given enemy. You actually... You see the kudos? You get... Ah, wait. I'm so used to having the Orochi weapon. I... You, oh, man, it's lagging a little. Sorry. Um, yeah, your standard wall jump. The kudos, once you pass a checkpoint... Okay! I don't know why that happened. And once you pass a checkpoint, it will give you extra points. And actually, if you get to a certain amount of kudos, a special song will play as well. I think that's over a thousand. I don't know if I will ever break that barrier because I just go ahead and use the stinking checkpoint because I died. Yes, yes. And then also, this is a good way of demonstrating this. You see? One second. You got your standard speed, and then once you go up to three, it goes even faster. That, that I think that's, yeah, I think that's a way to demonstrate that. Yeah, charge against the wall. Hello. Yeah, just a bit of uh, tutorial for you. Yep. The, the EP is the little blue bar below gun bolts. Yeah, that, and that's the double tap down is what I was doing to recharge. Oh yeah, and that overheat is a real turd, I can tell you right now, because there's a certain there's certain enemies that can make you automatically overheat if you hit them. I mean they aren't altogether common. Ooh, shutter! Yay! Man, this is lagging the heck out. Yeah, you can also float a little while you're using the flash field. Extend your jump. Man, that is really lagging. Yeah, I mean he normally doesn't do this. Thank you! Okay. Oh, right, and I forgot. If you hold it, you get a fast shot. And something you can do with this. Thank you! Oh, and then there's these. These give you an extra spin on the item lottery! I got too close. Something you can do with bosses is you can spam the attack button and get all these extra hits on them. So you burn through their first levels of HP really fast. And yes, I said levels. Each boss... You don't make to me! I forgot you were there. Each boss has a three-tiered HP bar that brings up the AI level and gives them new attack patterns. It's just wonderful. I think it's really innovative, personally. I don't... I mean, it's... it's For a 2D side-scroller, at least. I don't, for, for MMOs and things like... That, you know, that isn't very special, I know, but you know what, I personally enjoy it, because it drastically changes the battle. Man! Epic dodge. Man, I'm thinking a lot of HP. Okay, so far, ooh, 788? Okay, I'm, I might get through the Kudos song. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> it might be the end of the... Nope. All right, that's in... Okay, let's see if I... Can... <laughs> no, you don't. Oh, right, enemies stagger when the flash field hits them for just a second. Ooh, level up, yay. It's a little while before I get to any new abilities. Or anything. Oh, also... There are certain projectiles, specifically explosives, that can be destroyed by the flash field. It's a good way to protect yourself. But of course, they thought of that in building certain bosses, as we will see later. The upgraded version of these guys is terrible. Well, not if you have the ability Lux Caliber, but that uses two ability points. But anyway, that's another matter. They are terrible because the missiles they shoot go straight through your Dagon. You see this attack? They they have projectiles 
inside them. Oh crap! Yeah, that's right. You dead now. Um, they have projectiles inside the missiles. They go straight through your, your the, 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 the the flash field. No! Oh, wait a minute. That's different. That's really different. I got over a thousand. Excuse me. Of course, I, I, I only got that when I was playing on the 3DS. Yeah, this is the uh, Steam version, obviously, because I'm playing it on PC. So, it might be different. I mean, you learn the ability Lux Cal uh, Voltaic, I'm sorry, Voltaic Chain much earlier in this version, so maybe it's much later amount of kudos to get the special song. Okay, it's not bad. I'm looking for another one of those tokens. What? They can change the angle they fire? Since what the heck did they do that? Ooh, da 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 da. Oh, that's different. They never did that on the 3DS version. Heck, I didn't have that happen in the life. I hate these guys. See, the flash field automatically damages, but the tag bolt does a heck of a lot more. Aha, here it is. See, these give you extra spins, like I said. I'll, I'll show you. No! You see the grenade? No! See, as, I, as I was trying... Thank you. As I was trying to say... The flash field... Okay, I got it. The flash field destroys certain projectiles. The energy bolts or anything like that, they're immune from it. They... They cannot be destroyed by the flash field. They go... They pass straight through... Hello! Now you see there, it gets destroyed as well. The attack becomes hard... Harmless! Man, I am talking and I am not remembering where all these enemies are. Thank you! No! Great. I'm an idiot. I forgot. The next boss has a slightly different mechanic that they are exercising right now. Yeah, dang on it. No! You hairy son of a... Okay. It, it's just another one of those tank things. The problem is, you don't have boxes to stand on, it has machine guns, and it shoots a beam of light from its mouth. Yeah. It's funny how even the bosses, the, the mini-bosses like this, the chump change ones, they all have three-tiered HP as well. Okay, okay, okay. And you see the full strike plus 10, that is adding your kudos. It's because I have three tags on an enemy. You get 100 for a double kill at once with tags. You get 250 for a triple kill. There, An air hit is plus 30, like if you're floating in the air. Oh, and you can also get... Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait! No! Okay, I forgot that was there. Oh, it respawned. Yeah, I, I, I always forget that metal is behind the hexapile. Yes, that is what it's called. <sighs> okay, so I am probably going to stop after the end of the cutscene for the tutorial level, because you know what? I'm probably just going to do that. Okay, how did I change it before? Okay, yes, you see, you have over-under, the clickable screen is clearly labeled, you have next to each other, and you have that. Those are your three options. Personally, I prefer this. You see those medals did go to the spins. And then you just randomly pick items over here. They, and I will show you how you use these later on when I can actually synth some gear. Oh, I actually got an A on that? We, we, that's odd. Oh, lag. Okay. Okay. Yeah, um, synthing gear, all that, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I love how they actually put in expletives, but then replaced them. <laughs> yeah, they, I mean, seriously, the, the characters do curse. I don't mind that. I just love how, how comic, how comically inclined the replacements are. In, in my opinion, anyway. I don't know about y'all. 
This is Jewel. Say hello, everybody. Yes, we're new here. Or, I may not be, but Gunvold is. No, he doesn't look like a scientist at all. He's a brute. In a good way. He's a brute with a big heart. Hi, Lumen! Ain't you pretty with your butterfly wings? Yep. Yes, you are. But that comes in handy later. Don't ask. Yep, no problem. No problem. Mm-hmm. Huh. <sighs> Sorry. I, I honestly used to read this so it went a lot quicker, even with my second playthrough. So, admittedly, yeah, I'm gonna get a little lax on commentary. <laughs> I'm so excited to actually be playing this game for this. For, for the YouTube channel. I love it! I mean, I know I don't have a lot of subscribers right now, but who cares? You're so mean, Asimov. You're so mean. Yes, Gunvolt is technically still a kid. He's... He's younger than me, at least. And no, you are not getting the answer behind that question. I've probably already given it away anyway. Um... Oh, that's so sad, Jewel. No. Of course you would be. I don't blame you. Nah, I don't know about that. Yeah, a little bit of backstory, I suppose. If need be, I will explain the backstory for Gunvolt if it isn't apparent, because it is a little scattered. Some of it you don't get references until the very end. Quite literally. Should I do that now? Yeah, I'm just gonna do that now. Basically, Gunvolt was a Sumeragi experiment. Ooh, music change. Seriously, he was grown in a lab. They, yeah, Asimov took him out of there, but the thing is, Asimov... <laughs> I'm not gonna say that, because that would sort of ruin things. Ooh, suspense descending on the crowd. <laughs> yeah. So, basically... He, he is essentially an artificial being that Sumeragi created that is coming back to stab them in the heart. Okay? Yeah. And, uh, yeah, basically, Sumeragi is in control of the world, basically. Um, I'm not going to say why or how right now, because there is a cutscene that explains that. I don't know if it's right after this. But I'm going to cut it when we get back to their house, so if it is after this, you'll be able to see it. Yeah. So, Gunvolt quits Quill. I... Quill is a... It's a acronym for the organization. Okay. Oh, actually, I... I... There are a few different facts I could explain while doing this. Gunvolt's weapon is actually powered by his own septimal power. Quite literally, you see that little hair tie he has on the end of his braid? Which, personally, to me, is also another reference to Mega Man because of Zero. Long blonde hair. Anyway, that's a... tail plug to his gun. That supplies energy to it. Quite literally. I think that that's probably the reason you can do the tag thing, at least in game logic. That's that's the reason you get a tag when you hit somebody. Like there can only be a certain concentration, so if you hit something else, the tags move. Makes sense. Of, oh yeah, this is the cutscene I was thinking of. It's only been a few decades since the first adepts showed up. Yep, them and the supernatural powers that came to be known as Septima. Didn't take long for someone to find a way to capitalize on it. I know, I probably don't sound anything like Gunvolt. I don't really care. That someone was an energy syndicate called Sumeragi. Sumeragi Group is old. Real old. Its roots go back to the Middle Ages. Maybe earlier. It's a little far back, ain't it? Today, they own every power company with them, the nation. Because apparently we were really high-tech in this century, so power is really... Really 
a president. True, they deliver on the peace they promised. But some of us believe the cost was too high. Too many adepts shipped off to protection camps, which actually is true in this case. Too many ex sick experiments gussied up as clinical energy trials. We'll get into that too later. Simuragi's PR machine was as slick as a sinner's road dancer. Let's just forget I said that, because I never remember- I forgot that was even in there. But some didn't buy it. They resisted. And that's basically how Quill got started. You see, Quill. One minute. The Quorum for Unrestricted Information, Law, and Liberty. <whistles> nice name, right? <laughs> Has the Ring of Justice? Two can play the PR game. Anyway, Quill paid my bills right up until the day I met Jewel. And, to be honest, not much changed after I went freelance. Yeah, now we're getting to the cutscene right before he goes. He's in the house. So I will end it after that. As long as I'm not forgetting anything. Oh, yay! Love the music. My jam, man. It's my jam. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a little repetitive, but you know, it's good. I love it. Yeah, so basically he went from elite Quill agent to mercenary. Yet he still works for Quill anyway. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's funny, this is actually pretty realistic for how fantasy it is. They actually take into account what they did and how it would affect their future in some ways. In my opinion, anyway. I mean, admittedly the characters aren't too rounded out, but how, how good are they going to be anyway? I mean... Yeah. <sighs> Gun vault. Yeah, you did. You really did. Hmm. Okay. Almost there. And actually, this right here is a reference to something that can happen when you die. Quite literally. I think if you have enough points or every now and then, just... From it. You see, the anthem plays, and you quite literally get maxed out abilities. Everything is completely maxed out. Absolutely, completely. You get unlimited air hops, unlimited air dashes, unlimited septimal power. Everything. <laughs> L Lumen's just sort of laid back. Okay, bro. <laughs> yeah, Lumen is actually part of Jewel. Sort of... <laughs> she's got multiple personality, I guess. Yeah, she definitely does not fit with Jewel. Uh... You talking to me? <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. I yeah, this is just tutorial stuff. <laughs> I forgot it changed that. Yeah. Every time you talk to Jewel, you actually feel closer to her, and there is an achievement for talking to her a certain amount of times. I think all I think it's two I think all the necessary maybe <laughs> Necessary times you talk to her come too short of getting the, uh, um, achievement. Hold on, let's look at something gear real quick so I can show you that. I, I don't think I can probably get anything. Basically, items you pick up through the lottery give you these items. Oh, like you see, I got the Zewidia last time. You, the boost band gives you the air hop ability, and you can get more and more... Excuse me. 
upgraded versions, but as they're more and more upgraded, you get into these rarer and rarer items, it gets so ridiculously hard to find them. I mean, sometimes you just need to go to an, an, one of the challenges that just gives you the item as soon as you finish it. I suggest that, honestly, for those, because it gives you all that you need if you can finish the challenge. Um, and personally, if you're playing this along, stick with the Pervasion Chain, what he automatically comes with. Because you get hit, you don't take any damage as long as you have Septimal Power. The EP bar is somewhat full. It, it eats away at it when you're hit, but you avoid taking damage for one hit. It's actually really key. I mean it. But anyway, that's enough of me babbling for no good reason. I will see y'all later. Well, Metal Omega is out of here! <laughs>